Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a refrigerator just like this. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get into the video. First, you're going to need a reference for how big you want it to be. So you probably want a model of your own character or even just a block rig but i'm going to use my own character first we're going to make a block and just expand it to about the size of a normal if not two times the size of a normal door or at least the width of it so something like that should be good next we're going to expand that just a little bit maybe about just three or three and a half studs next you're going to duplicate this then pull it out and scale it to about this size next you're going to take this scale it down expand it a little bit and put it down here now what you're going to do is you're going to take this pull it out align it with with these and then scale it and then align it with the top one if not a little bit over the top one and then take this and do the same for the bottom one that should be fine if you need to you can take both of these and align them uh, more precisely so that's good next this is a really easy part you're going to take this duplicate it control scale it down here and pull it out and give it a make it a little bit more thick now this the reason why we're doing this is so we can cut it in half precisely like that so now we have a little cut in the middle next you're going to take one of these and put it like that and put it up against the put it up against the door scale it down and once again you can use your character for a reference of size put it about halfway in and make sure to put it on the left side in fact we do we could probably scale this up a little bit more next we're going to take this and negate it and union it with this part you're going to take another one of these make sure it fits perfectly and of course you could just ununion this Duplicate this, pull it out, and then union it again. Put it back in just about halfway. Scale it down. Then you're going to take a block. Doesn't really matter what size. It just has to overlap with the outside of that uh, cylinder. Negate it. Grab the cylinder. And union. You're going to take another block. Put it up here. Scale it down align it and that should be good and then you're going to duplicate this pull it out just a little bit scale it down and pull it out just enough so it barely sticks out now for the bars i'm going to put one bar make sure to scale it down quite a bit put a cylinder right there or about right there scale it down a little bit now take one of these scale it down a lot and you're going to want it to be able to fit inside here so you're going to have to do a lot of aligning once you have it about like that that should be fine you'll just take both of these duplicate it and then pull it down all the way down here next you're going to take the cylinder duplicate it and press ctrl t oh no press ctrl r and then t and then align it with the bottom one. Make sure it aligns about halfway because you don't want it to be down here or too far up here because it won't look like it's connecting. You want it about halfway. So it's pretty much unnoticeable, the uh, outline of the cylinder. 
and then you're gonna scale it up put about halfway of the other uh, sphere make it so you can barely even see it and I'm gonna leave that there for now because we're gonna do something with that later and you can highlight all of these duplicate it and rotate it Put it down here now it doesn't have to be as pulled out as the top one so you can push that in a little bit take this pull it out align it like that so it's about equal to how much it is like from here as this is from here so that should be good and then align this halfway yep unseeable next is just texturing. I would start out with the most basic one, which is this one. We're going to change this to smooth plastic, which can be found in material in properties. And then change it to uh, black. Now you're gonna take this one, change it to really black, and then change it to smooth plastic. Now you're gonna take the back side and this drawer right here, turn it to glass. I'm gonna pick smoky gray. And then I'm gonna do for the same, I'm gonna do the same for this side. Now you wanna go in here in the middle, select this, go down, select this one too, and just change that to uh, this one dark, dark stone gray and leave it on plastic. Next, ununion this. Smoky gray. And glass. Reunion. Next, take this, separate it. Change the color to black. And then reunion. Leave it on plastic. Then take these. Change them to diamond plate, and then put it on white, or institutional white. And then to make the textures align, I would union this. This might take a while. There. Now the textures somewhat align. It's better than it was before, though. Now take this one, do the same thing as we did with this bar down here change it to institutional white and diamond plate union duplicate and pull it onto this side and align it and then you can highlight the whole thing and group it and just name it fridge or refrigerator if you want to and that's how you make a refrigerator in roblox studio very simple very easy Make sure to go watch my other tutorials. Make sure to like and subscribe if you learned anything. And make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.